Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to wash and block a crochet scarf um, that happens to be lace work. What you're going to need is a teaspoon of delicate wash. I'm using all natural, no rinse delicate wash, Rapture by Eucalan, and you can follow the link at the end of the video to find out more information about it. I'm going to use some lukewarm water and a bowl for my basin. For more convenience, you can certainly do this in your sink at home. I'm going to use some tea pins, some blocking boards, and make sure you don't forget your scarf. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna pour the water in the bowl. And again, you could certainly do this in your sink at home, but for purposes of showing it on the video, I'm going to use a bowl. Um, if you wanted to keep it close by to your blocking board and area, it definitely is convenient to use a bowl as well. Okay, I used a tiny bit of the Rapture. I'm gonna mix it into the water and submerse my scarf. Now this is a great way to um, stretch out the scarf so that you can find out the actual size of it. When you're crocheting or knitting something, especially with lace work, you don't see the finished size until it's been wet. So this is a great way to find out your gauge, whether you're using a swatch or your finished piece. And then after you start wearing it, this would be the way that you wash it as well. So we're just going to let that soak for a couple minutes, and when we come back, I'll show you how to expel the water and start blocking it. Okay, so we'll move some of this out of the way. One other thing that you're going to need that I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video is a towel. So we're going to use a towel to get out most of the water out of the scarf. First, we're going to take, remove it from the water and push it against the side of the bowl. You could use the side of your sink or the side of the bowl, what you don't want to do is you don't want to wring it or do anything that could twist it out of shape. So we've pressed it against the side of the bowl. Now I'm going to put it inside the towels and press it against the dry towels. And what happens is the water absorbs into the towel and comes out of the scarf. If you're using a bigger piece, you could even roll it up, like stretch it out roll it out into the towel like that, and even stand on it if you wanted to get more water out. So what we're gonna do now, is now it's got, it's very damp, but not dripping wet anymore. So what I'm gonna do is put together some of these boards, and these particular boards by the Crochet Dude have um, the measurements printed or stamped onto them already, which is really great because otherwise I have to use, in order to keep, uh, these boards already have the line, the grid stamped onto them, which is really great for when you're pinning so that you keep things straight. So we'll just pin a couple more of these together, or put a couple more of these together. Okay, and then I'll show you how to pin out the scarf. Okay, so we've got our damp scarf, our blocking boards put together, our pins close by. So now we're going to lay it out flat. And start pinning. And what will happen is, after we pin it, we're going to sit, let it set and dry. And it will hold the shape of the pinning when it dries. This works especially well with natural fibers, but it also works with synthetics. Okay, so when, notice how I'm paying attention to where the lines are there. If you didn't have these lines stamped on your grid already, what you'd want to do is measure this with your uh, tape measure. So what I'm going to do is just keep going along for the full length of the scarf. And I'm going to, to keep the scarf straight, I'm going to do these points in between here, too. And then it'll hold this beautiful shape when it dries. I think I'm going to pu pull out uh, a couple more of the petals on the scarf, too. This can be a really tedious job, but it's so worth it in the end if everything looks beautiful when you go to wear your scarf. So we're just going to pin out every single one of these. 
like that. And you're just going to continue to do that along the entire length of the scarf and let it dry. Especially important when blocking a rounded surface like this little flower or a, a larger area of a shawl, what you always want to do is start in the center and then work your way out evenly. So we're going to st we start in the center, then we go to the midpoint, then go to the midpoint, the midpoint, and for as large as your project may be. For this one we only need five, so we start with the middle, then go here, and then we'll pin these outside edges. And you'll see now we have our entire scarf pinned out, and we just need to wait for it to dry. In today's video we learned how to block and why it's important to block and some tips and tricks on the best ways to block. You can find information on the one skein scarf pattern in my book Crochet So Fine. You can find information on Rapture by Eucalan and on the blocking boards in the links at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.